Welcome to Maximizing Your Multiple for business owners who want to get the most value for their businesses. As a business broker and mergers and acquisitions advisor for over a decade, time and time again, I've seen sellers leave hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on the table because they were not prepared to sell. One seller just last week wanted to retire right away, but can't because he won't get enough money. If he had come to us even a year ago, we could have helped him get that high enough price now. Starting today, by following our advice, we'll be able to get him the price he needs. It will just take longer than he had wished. In a few minutes, I promise you will walk away with valuable, proven tips on how to get top dollar for your business. Maximize your multiple. How our clients sell their businesses for top dollar in record time using our 4P method and how we can do the same for you. A couple of stats. Over 80% of businesses listed for sale don't sell. But over 80% of owners plan to fund their retirement from the sales of their businesses. If you're a business owner with revenue between two and $50 million and think you want to sell in the next two to five years, it's time to prepare to ensure that your company sells and you get the maximum value. More statistics. For most business owners, 50 to 90% of your wealth is tied up in your business. You might see this as a lower risk investment because you are in control but life still happens. Unexpected factors can impact even the most stable businesses. And if you're an owner over 50, the risk is even higher. Over half of you will be suddenly and unexpectedly forced to exit your businesses due to one of the five Ds, death, divorce, disability, disagreement, or disaster. It's foolish not to prepare for unexpected events to ensure that you get enough money when you're ready to retire or leave your company. So. Should you try selling your business on your own? You may have heard horror stories about working with brokers or M&A advisors. You're worried you don't know how to get the best deal, that you may be leaving a lot of money on the table. Of course, not every broker or advisor is the right fit, but let's talk about their value and see how to determine whether they are a good fit or not. If you're interested in selling immediately or in the next few years, here's what you need to command top dollar, often more than you thought possible. I will show you our proven four-step process to maximize the value of your business. At Excellence Solutions, we look at your business through the lens of a buyer to maximize your value. As a serial entrepreneur, I've started and run several of my own businesses, as well as taught entrepreneurship at UCSD for almost a decade. A former CPA with my MBA from Dartmouth, I've worked in big and small companies from Nestle and Disney to internet startups, manufacturing, and software. Most importantly, I've been a business broker and M&A advisor for over 10 years and overseen hundreds of transactions. My partner, Gustavo Lanada, is also an entrepreneur. He owned a mortgage business for 12 years, has been a licensed broker for 30, and has his MBA. Most recently, he's been a financial consultant and CFO for an international consumer products company with operations in Europe, Latin America, and French Polynesia, which has given him great insight into both domestic and international finance. He also teaches real estate courses and is fluent in English, Spanish, and Italian. Our clients tell us they trust us because we get what they're going through. Having owned our own businesses, we know how hard it is to run the day-to-day -day and, at the same time, keep your eye on the big picture. We're passionate about entrepreneurship. We've not only lived it with our own businesses, but also taught hundreds of aspiring entrepreneurs across dozens of industries. We know the numbers. Owners can tell us all kinds of things about their businesses, but we rarely evaluate anything until we see the financials. That tells the real story. And we've seen it all, from entire families on payroll, to Ferrari business cars, to two completely separate sets of books. Let's just say we're rarely surprised. But what's most important to me? That we keep your business's legacy going. Providing jobs is essential for our economy. When I was young, I made the choice to support job creation rather than just charity. I believe that given the chance, most people prefer to earn a living rather than to take a handout. I want all of your businesses to succeed, not just for you, but for the next generation of owners. But we're not all about business. Both Gustavo and I play polo. That's actually how we met. Gustavo has many other interests, including sailing and skiing. He also has a very cute pup, Wesley. My joys include my pup, Kenzie, tango, and being a published fiction author. Rather than trying to upsell you books or webinars or memberships, and whether you work with us or not, 
we want you to be aware of some common pitfalls that could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more, and how owners can sabotage selling their businesses if they're not prepared and informed. Do you think that's worth 20 minutes of your time? Okay, before we go on, let's address the elephant in the room. Should you use a business broker or M&A advisor? Why or why not? Trying to sell your business on your own, you'll likely generate a lot of interest. You may already be getting unsolicited offers. I've heard business owners talk about getting a letter every week from a private equity group. The biggest problem is time and money. You can spend enormous amounts of time talking to these folks and getting them all kinds of confidential information, only to, in the end, never get an offer or get one that's super lowball. Doing it yourself is always an option, but be careful, the devil's in the details. Let's talk about some downsides of doing it yourself. Sophisticated buyers find ways to lower the price. There are thousands of private equity and strategic buyers constantly looking for businesses. But even if you manage to meet all of their initial screening criteria, there's a good chance, after you've wasted a lot of time, you either never get an offer or they put you through the ringer on deal terms until it doesn't make sense for you. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. These buyers are sophisticated and know how to lower value and push the risk onto you, the seller. They often throw out a high price but when you look closer, it's a bad deal. I've seen several times where the initial down payment offered is actually less than the amount they want you to leave in the company for working capital. They promise you big payments over time, but that's risky. It depends entirely on them running the business well after you're gone. So be very wary of your price, my terms. You may never see most of that price. It's also an emotional roller coaster. One minute, you're going to get a great price for your business, the next, the offer never came through or wasn't what it initially appeared to be. Some brokers play the volume game. If they get enough listings, one is sure to sell. You don't want this. You need a broker who understands your business and is committed to selling it. We won't take listings unless we truly believe we can sell them. A good broker can add from 10 to 100% to your value. But it's important to find the right broker. We've been in the industry a long time, so we often get clients after they've gone to the wrong one. There are two types of brokers, transactional and consultative. How do you know which one is the right one for you? Transactional brokers will only handle your deal if you're ready to sell now for whatever price you can get today. A consultative broker will work with you to define your goals, see if we can meet them today, and if not, work with you to prepare so you can meet your goals when you do sell. And selling to an outside party might not be the best option. Consultative brokers help you evaluate all of the options transitioning to an employee, family member, even not selling. Maybe putting management in place so you still get an ongoing cash stream. We help you determine what's right for you. Transactional brokers do not help restructure or change your business. Consultative brokers will, helping you to make changes necessary to get the higher value, whether simply cleaning up your books or something more in depth, like restructuring your operations or creating new revenue streams. Transactional brokers don't always have a deep knowledge of accounting. Consultative brokers understand the numbers. They have a good grasp of your financials and can also better explain your situation to buyers. This is important because if buyers can better see where the value is, they will better understand how they can leverage that for their own success, which drives up the price. Transactional brokers will list you on websites like BizBuySell, which is good, but consultative brokers take it a step further they not only have deep databases of qualified buyers, but will also work with you to find strategic buyers. The goal is to find several good buyers to inspire bidding wars and, once again, drive up the value. One of the biggest challenges with the wrong broker is that they often set unrealistically high price expectations. They agree to sell your business for that super high price that you're sure it's worth instead of telling you the real value. Your business sits on the market and they have to keep dropping the price until it's at, or sometimes below, the value it was worth in the first place. Because as the price drops, buyers, like sharks, smell blood in the water and wait until you're really desperate. Consultative brokers, like us, will tell you if your expectations are too high. We'd rather tell you the truth up front, and if the price doesn't meet your needs, work with you to get it. Transactional brokers often don't have much experience with different deal terms and ways to structure a deal. Knowing those options can make or break a deal. I had one buyer who was going to walk away because he was nervous the key employees would leave after the deal closed. We solved it by allocating a small portion of the purchase price to key employees as a bonus a year after closing. This made the buyer comfortable, 
that they would stay long enough for a successful transition, and he went ahead with the purchase. Broad knowledge of terms and structures can not only save a deal, but make it more favorable. Consultative brokers can help you maximize the cash you get at closing. For example, there may be ways to allocate the proceeds to lower taxes and increase the net cash you receive. Transactional brokers only sell to outside and third-party buyers. Consultative brokers look at all the options. Would it be better to sell to a partner, an employee, or a family member? Or sell part now to a private equity group, which will help grow your business and sell it at a higher price later, called a second bite at the apple. When the private equity group sells later, you have a smaller share, but at a higher price, you end up with more. Or you might set up a management team to run your business so you can step away to do other things while still receiving a stream of cash. These options have pros and cons, but a consultative broker helps you understand the options and evaluate what's best for you. In summary, work with a transactional broker if you don't mind spending more time managing the deal and you're ready to sell today for whatever price you can get. Use a consultative broker if you want a partner to help you through the process and maximize your value. Let me give you an example. We had a client who sold home decor, a great little business doing a little over six million in sales. But their previous year's profits looked really low due to a bunch of extra expenses launching new product lines, like expedited shipping charges because one supplier hadn't performed on schedule. They were mostly learning curve expenses that they knew would be much lower the next year. We coached them on how their business would be valued so they could set it up to get a higher price. 12 months later, we got 150% more than what we thought we could have gotten just a year earlier. A transactional broker would have pushed them to sell right away and they would have ended up selling for less, if at all. Two key takeaways. Unless you're an experienced seller, trying to do it on your own means you could waste a ton of time and potentially hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, assuming you can find a buyer at all. Your needs will determine the right broker for you, but consultative brokers help prepare and choose the right option to drive up your value and meet your personal goals. They're knowledgeable about financials, valuation, terms, and finding the right buyer. On to our secret sauce, the 4P method for maximizing your multiple. Most valuations key off a multiple of earnings or revenue, so we want to maximize the multiple for your business. I want to emphasize there are hundreds of ways for deals to go south. It's said that every deal dies at least three times before the sale goes through. The greatest value we brokers add is our ability to counsel sellers and buyers through the process when they hit bumps in the road. Buyers don't want to overpay or miss something that might hurt their success. For sellers, it's a big life change, and every decision you've ever made in your business is being questioned. Having been through hundreds of sales over the past decade, We've seen almost every possible horror story. Sales falling through at the last second, one canceled an hour before the funds were wired because the buyer got slapped with a lawsuit, valuation slashed, sometimes down to as much as half of the original price, or business owners having to take the business back six months after the sale when the buyer ran it into the ground. To prepare you so that these issues are less likely to happen, we developed the 4P method. This system has not only helped salvage many sales, but it's also led to higher valuations, premium positioning, and better deal terms. The 4P method starts with planning. We assess where you are today, your personal and business goals, and what it will take to get there. Step two, prepare by executing the plan to get you the highest value. It can involve cleaning up financials, putting in place or documenting standard operating procedures, and more so we can tell the right story when you're ready to sell. Step three, price. Getting buyers to submit LOIs. We want multiple offers to encourage bidding wars. This is also where we help you get through the deal process, including due diligence. Step four, passing the torch. Why is this important? Legacy. If the buyer is successful and the business continues to do well, not only does your legacy continue, but your employees, customers, and suppliers will all be taken care of. It also assures you'll get any seller carry note or earnout payments that may be part of the deal. And you won't get the business back months down the road in terrible shape because the buyer failed. Finally, and most importantly, you'll minimize the risk of any post-close litigation. No one wants a lawsuit because the buyer believes there was misrepresentation. Let's go over each of these phases in a little more depth. Step one, plan. What do you think is the number one reason a business sale falls through? 
owners are not ready to sell. They think they are, but ultimately they can't let go of their baby because they're not sure what they'll do next. Or they aren't financially prepared and the price is not enough for retirement or whatever they have planned next. These are both solvable if the right plan is in place. Sellers should prepare by having a plan for after they sell. Some call this a third act. And increasing the business's value can get you there. To assess your readiness to sell, we look at three factors. How ready are you? Is the business in shape? And what's going on in the market? If market timing is bad, the other factors may not matter. For example, during the recession in 2007 and 8, it was difficult for buyers to fund any business purchases because the capital markets were so tight. So we look at other market factors to ensure there's liquidity so buyers can get funded and other industry dynamics that might affect the ability to sell. We worked with an alarm business. He assured us he was ready, but I think it was really his wife who was ready. She worked in the business and wanted to retire. He was 76, and even his customers were asking when he was going to retire. We got three competitive offers. One especially seemed like a great fit. The buyer had a similar background to the owner, and they had very similar values. Everything was moving along until the last minute when the owner got uncomfortable. He didn't know what he would do with himself without his business to look after. He wasted tons of time and lots of legal fees only to back out. Now he'll have to repeat the process or his family will for him when he's no longer capable. He just wasn't ready. Step two, preparing your business so we can tell a compelling story to buyers. The most common mistake is with the financials. We need clean, accurate books. We say your financials tell a story, so let's make it a bestseller. A couple of areas we look at is how and when you recognize revenue and expenses. One seller only did so when he fully completed large projects, which understated his current profits on an accrual basis. Correcting for this alone justified a much higher price. Another is processes. Can the buyer run the business the same way without you? If not, the business will be valued lower. Here's a client who monkeyed with the timing of his revenue recognition to make his books look better. He recognized the revenue in the year he collected it, but pushed the expenses that generated the revenue into the following year. When we looked at his books through the lens of a buyer, it was clear the business had no profit that year. We helped the owner fix his books and grow his business, and he got a price of a million dollars over what he expected. Step three, price. We focus on deal terms to get you the maximum value for your business and get multiple offers to help bid up the price. Nobody wants to leave money on the table because they don't know how to negotiate the best deal terms, and no one wants to spend hours with the wrong buyer. We vet buyers as quickly as possible to weed out those only willing to put in lowball offers or who are unqualified to purchase. A couple of terms that can get sticky in negotiations if you don't know what you're doing are networking capital. Different buyers often define this differently. And inventory. Buyers often discount the inventory value based on what they consider obsolete, or they may not include shipping costs or labor added after the product was delivered, thereby lowering the value. One company we worked with thought they'd gotten a $7 million offer from a strategic buyer. But once we looked closer and explained to the seller he had to leave $5 million in networking capital in the business, making the offer really only $2 million, it opened his eyes. Without a careful understanding of the terms, he would have netted far less than he expected. Step four, passing the torch. Sellers often say, once I get the money, who cares? But most deals have payments after close, whether that's a holdback, a seller carry note, or an earnout. You want the buyer to be successful so he can make those payments. Also. You need a good transition plan so all of your suppliers, taxes, payroll, and other expenses get moved over to the buyer and you can cleanly exit. And most importantly, you don't want any kind of post-close lawsuit. We work with sellers throughout the deal process to make sure this risk is minimized. Make sure the right processes and procedures are in place for an easy transition, that you have fully disclosed any potential issues, and that the legal documents properly protect both parties leaving a lasting legacy. Most sellers want their legacies to live on. If you've worked this hard to build your business, don't you want it to continue to grow and thrive? And to continue to have your employees, customers, and suppliers taken care of? We work with sellers and buyers to set up the deal to help ensure employees, customers, and suppliers are motivated to continue to work with the buyer. In some cases, that means setting up contracts or bonuses post-close, but mostly, it means having a good communication plan for the transition. However, the most important aspect is picking the right buyer. 
You want someone who is a good cultural fit and who you believe can succeed. We work with our clients to ensure the transition goes as smoothly as possible. The four key takeaways. One, a consultative broker with a proven system minimizes the risk of sabotaging your sale. Two, the devil is in the details. The fine print can cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Three, taking the time to prepare can double your sales price and prevent having to take the business back in terrible shape. Four, our 4P method has produced successful sales for dozens of owners at a maximized multiplier. Here are a few client testimonials. The founder and president of a telemedicine company, a much higher level than other brokers, and only a few months into the listing, we had two offers, one for full price and one for over asking. Amazing. The founder and president of a nutritional supplement company, such a journey can be perilous without a proper guide. And she found several interested parties, clarified confusion, and took the deal across the finish line. I would recommend her to anybody. The founder of a consignment store, there were many times when I was concerned the deal would fall apart, but she held it together and made it happen. The co-founder of a nano systems company. He helped me and my company in all areas of business, from corporate governance to financial analytics, long-term planning, and exit strategies. Now you have a choice. Try to do it on your own, which can be very risky and costly, especially if you've never sold a business before, or use a consultative broker. In our case, we use our proven 4P multiplier maximizer method to get the highest value for your business. If you're interested in option two, we're ready to get started. Call us in the next 48 hours. Remember, whatever your biggest challenges, we have seen them and know how to overcome them. Apply for a free strategy session and get your step-by-step -step plan to start preparing you and your business to maximize your value. This is 100% free. What's the catch? There is none. We simply want you to be as successful as possible in selling your business to get the value you want and deserve. We'll help you improve your business so you'll be a much better prepared seller and get a far higher value. To be clear, this is for business owners who are ready to sell now or in the near future, even if it's to family members, a partner, or employees. If you decide to come to the session, have an open mind and be ready to learn. And be realistic. We'll give you honest feedback about whether your business is ready to sell or not. We're not going to build up false hopes, but we'll advise you on how to improve the odds of getting the value you want. To book your free one-on-one -on -one call with us, simply click the schedule button below.